From the very first moment when they pitched their ideas, I found them all very interesting. And in some cases, I just fall in love with, with the characters they were working with. So I always believed in this project. Since we had this nice short documentary film, we decided to set up a festival, a kind of two-day screening event, so that everybody who has worked hard and produced their own short documentaries had a chance to show it to the larger audience. Well, it reminds me of more than 20 years, to be honest with you. It reminds me back in the beginning of my career when I would go out and I would, and I would try to, to shoot projects and, and, and make films. And, and really, it is a, a learning process that you can really only fully learn by doing. You can sit in a classroom and people can tell you how to do it, but until you go out with a camera and you meet real people in real circumstances and deal with real problems and issues in producing a film, you can't really understand what it's all about. While you are working as a journalist, you are using the different skills. You are always firm and you always ask the questions you are interested in. But while making documentary, uh, you should be more careful not to frighten your hero. Make her uh, cover herself and don't show the person she is uh, uh, and so on. In some movies there were more journalistic work, but some tried to really be in the position of the documentary director. Ice Cream Salt, it was my favorite film because I like hero driven stories. Ice Cream Cellar was my favorite film as well because uh, Hero was pretty good. I really like Katie, Katie Gigashvili's film and I really like um, the film called Magaro. შემთხვევა საინტერესო იყო ამათი ოჯახები, აქ დარჩენილი ოჯახები როგორ ცხოვრობენ. ხდებოდა თუ არა მათ ცხოვრებაში რაიმე ცვლილება, ჰქონდა თუ არა გავლენა ამ ფაქტს მათ ცხოვრებაზე. ძალიან ბევრი ისტორია ვიცოდეთ ჩემს ირგვლივ და აი სწორედ ამ ისტორიებზე მინდოდა გამოკეთებინა და ნუ ბოლოს გამოვიდა ესე რომ ორი გმირი ვიპოვე. განსხვავებული ისტორიით დედისა და ქმრის ამბავი და შევიცადე რომ როგორ მე გადმომეცა but we got to go to the Netherlands. The festival has been very successful. It's been well attended, and most importantly, you know, each of the eight documentaries was good in its own way. It was good in its own right. Always, there are those who are judged on a higher level, but I, I have to tell you, in all in all honesty, all eight of them we felt were good and were really represented the, the students very well. It was hard for us to choose the winner and also only three movies to be screened tonight. So we had a, quite a discussion with the jury members and it was not easy to pick up only one movie. I didn't expect Mariam. <laughs> expect it. <laughs> because she's optimistic. <laughs> More optimistic than Jaco, but no, I'm not optimistic at all. Um, it, it's very good feeling when you know that your film is among those films who were chosen by professionals like directors. Um, like we we will see it together at uh, an hour later. <laughs> To be honest, I didn't expect it that um, the winner is Katie Gigashvili. I'm extremely excited that my favorite documentary became the winner of this competition because 
I personally think as a viewer, as an ordinary Georgian view of this, of this documentary, I think that the segment with the Georgian Bebo, grandma, was unbelievable. It was extremely natural, very, very unique, extremely colorful, a very sincere, emotional, uh, spectacular described by the director and uh, as, as, a, as an ordinary viewer I'm really thankful to her and good luck Katie congratulations you did an excellent job good luck keep keep doing that <laughs> ამ ფილმზე მუშაობა რა შეეხება თქვა სამომავლო დროს ვაპირებ ნუ პროფესიით ვარ ჟურნალისტი მაგრამ მართლა ძალიან მაინტერესებს ეს სფერო 